The James Bond betting strategy is designed to yield a profit in a ton of scenarios. It's easy to implement, fun to play, and has a high win rate. It also includes a backup strategy in an attempt to help you recoup your losses should you hit a losing number. Stay until the end as I explain why I think the backup strategy is flawed and has the potential to create a disastrous situation. This strategy was adopted by the popular fictional character James Bond in the Casino Royale book. Mr Bond, as well as being a hit with the ladies, was known to be a bit of a gambler and one that had a knack for winning almost every game that he was presented with. In the book, he comes up with this method of betting in roulette, which is claimed to be an unbeatable betting strategy. Let's find out why Mr Bond vouches for this betting strategy and if we should consider using it ourselves. The strategy is designed to work with a starting bet of $200. You will need to place a $140 bet on high numbers, that's from 19 to 36, $50 on the six line bet that covers 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18, and a $10 bet on the number zero. $140 plus $50 plus $10 equals $200. Now we have our $200 bet on the table, we might feel like James Bond, but is this betting strategy actually any good? How much can we win and how likely are we to lose? With this strategy, there are only 12 out of 37 numbers that we lose money on. So that means there's a 32.5% chance that we lose $200, meaning we have a 67.5% probability of hitting a winning number. I'll explain what we do if we lose $200 later in the video. So how much profit do we actually make when we hit a winning number? Well, that depends on which winning number lands exactly. Let's first look at the largest bet that has the highest probability of winning, $140 on the numbers 19 to 36. This bet has a 48.6% probability of winning and the payout is $280. That's including our stake back. With $200 bet, that gives us a profit of $80. With less than 50% chance to win less than 50% of our money, this doesn't sound like a good strategy. Was Mr Bond really just a handsome dumbass that got lucky? Before we jump to any conclusions, let's consider the rest of the winning numbers. If our $50 bet on the six line wins, this returns a total of $300. This bet has a 16.2% chance of winning and brings home a profit of $100. Finally, we have $10 on the number zero, the least likely bet to win at just 2.7%, but it returns $360, giving us a profit of $160. Totaled all together, this gives us the 67.5% probability of making money every spin. The appealing factor to this betting strategy is that it's not the same profit for every winning number. Systems like the Martingale or the Romanovsky system provide consistent winnings that are the same no matter what number lands. The James Bond betting strategy, your profits can increase with the six line bet or better still, the single zero. I mentioned at the start of the video that Mr Bond has a backup strategy should a bet lose. Even though this strategy makes you a winner more often than not, there's still a 32.5% chance of losing the full $200. The backup strategy is a very simple one and is borrowed from one of my favorite roulette strategies, but I must say, I personally think it's a risky one given the situation. The James Bond betting strategy simply indicates that if your bet loses, you implement the Martingale system and double your bets on the next spin. Now I'm sure James Bond doesn't care what I think about his backup strategy, but let me explain why I think it's flawed and you can decide for yourself. If we've just lost $200 on our previous bet, following the Martingale system, we now need to double our stake and bet $400. We would now have $280 on the high numbers, $100 on the six line bet, and $20 on the single zero. Imagine we win our most likely bet and the ball lands on one of the high numbers. A $280 bet on the high numbers would return a total of $560, giving us a $160 profit on that particular spin. But when we remember the only reason we're betting $400 is because we lost $200 on our previous bet. Even if we win our backup strategy, 
We haven't even recuperated our losses back and we are down $40. What about if we hit a winning six line? With a $100 bet on a six line, this returns $600, giving us a profit of $200 on that spin and recuperating our full losses back. Sounds good, but when we consider there's only a 16.2% probability of winning this bet, that's pretty low odds just to recoup our losses from the previous spin. Finally, we have our single zero bet. $20 winning bet would return a total of $720, a significant profit of $320, which would mean we've recouped our losses with an additional $120 in profit. But realistically, with a 1 in 37 chance of landing, this is the least likely scenario. So with this backup strategy, implementing the Martingale system, we have just one number on the entire table that puts us back in the profit. Six numbers that put us at break even and the remaining 30 numbers that mean we are still down. I've not even mentioned that 12 of those numbers would see us lose an additional $400, making our total loss $600 should we lose two bets in a row. Supporters of this betting strategy will say, if you lose two bets in a row, then we need to double our bets again, up to a total of $800. But the situation gets even worse, and we dig ourselves an even bigger hole. After losing two bets, even hitting a winning six line on the next bet wouldn't recoup all of our losses. Our six line bet is now $200, returning $1,200. A $400 profit on that winning spin, but we've lost $600 in the previous two spins, meaning we're still in the red. Even hitting single zero with our now $40 bet only puts us slightly in profit, returning $1,440 after a total of $1,400 bet. It's a gigantic risk for just $40 profit, and you can easily see how this gets us into a gigantic mess. With all things considered, the James Bond betting strategy itself is not bad. Your high probability of winning, mixed with various profits, makes it an attractive and fun strategy to follow. However, when adding the Martingale system each time you lose, really doesn't make a lot of sense. The potential risk far outweighs the payout, and with just two losing spins, it's a very hard hole to dig yourself out of. Despite the Martingale system not being a good fit for this particular betting strategy, I personally like the Martingale system. You can find out why by watching this video next. If you're looking for the best online casinos to try out your betting strategies, check out the link in the description to find the best casinos to play at, depending on where in the world you live.